Hello, welcome to our presentation from Active Plan of Revit to Power BI. I'm using the Autodesk sample project for MEP and I've added classifications using the classification manager to both spaces and rooms so that in the Kobe spreadsheet the category is correctly filled in. I've also added an area object to each of the levels so that I get an outline of the building. That's not critical to this process but I think it helps to enhance the graphical representation of the floor. We've got a toolbar here where we can just output the floors that have got rooms on it individually as an SVG. We can check those out in any web browser. I'm going to use Chrome here so we can see that the floor plan has done what we expect it to do. Remember it's only going to output spaces and it's only going to output the area for that floor level. So we just drag those over. Those look OK. So next thing to do is to create the Kobe file. So obviously we've got an exporter for spaces and rooms. So we'll use the rooms one. Very quickly produces that. Bring it over in Excel. We've also got the attributes, but we're not going to be using those today. But you can see that we've outputted all the attributes for the room and it does the same for spaces as well. And so we just check in the sheet that everything looks OK. So the spaces sheet's got the correct categories in, otherwise this isn't going to work. So the next thing to do now is to drop those into our folder for Power BI. I'm only doing that because it just makes it a bit cleaner from a folder directory process. Um, I've got a template in there that I've already created that I use for all of our projects now. So that template is basically all the visualizations for a specific thing but without any data. That's why the panels come up like this. So the next thing to do is obviously hook up the data. So we'll select the spreadsheet that we just created, the Kobe spreadsheet we just created. And we have to select the tables that we want out there. So we're going to take attribute, facility, floor and space. We're not going to do anything sophisticated in this. We're just going to use the tables directly. As soon as we've loaded that in, it will start to fill out the visualization panels. So on the ground floor you can see there's already a plan there but that was the default and I've just chosen that from the online gallery that comes with the visualization. So I'm going to rename the report page and I'm going to select the floor I want for there. Now the bottom right hand panel is showing me all of the rooms off all of the buildings. So I'm going to filter that so it's only going to show rooms that are specific to this particular level. And now if I click through we can see how each of the visualizations are all working in conjunction with each other, they're all connected together. So what we need to do now is just create the other floors and that's a simple process of just duplicating one page to another and changing the data to point at a different thing and filter. So we change the, um, get all the levels together first and we'll go back to level two and we'll change the floor plan so it's pointing at level two floor plan and we'll change the panel so that it's filtering just on level two rooms. And finally we'll just do the same thing for level three. We need to select the panel, don't we? Okay, so we'll just give this a bit of a try out. Top right hand panel is always going to show against all of the floors. So we'll save the file so we don't overwrite our template. And then once we've done this, we're going to publish it to the Power BI cloud website. And the reason for doing that is so that we can then create an environment which we can share the Power BI dashboard 
uh, with other people in our organization and also outside but we could just send this file now there's a link on here my default browser is edge so it's going to bring up the visualizations in edge I don't know why but edge seems to not like the set styles within the SVG whereas in Chrome it's got no, not got a problem and that's it thanks very much for watching